Hello YouTube friends, here I am in Florida. I got all sorts of moldy funk smell in the car. Don't know what it's from, but I guess it's from being in Florida. You know, the humidity, the mold, the pollen, all that crap. Well, today I'm going to see if I can take care of it. I am going to change the cabin filter in my van with an STP cabin air filter right there. Or if you want it in Spanish, there you go, right there. Um, I can honestly say, in 30 years of owning vehicles, I have never changed an interior cabin filter. But we're going to do that right now and see if it works. Now, before you expect any uh, bad smell to dissipate, you got to treat the smell first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car. I'm going to put the air conditioning on full blast, just like that. Everything's on. Now I'm going to come over to the front of the vehicle where the air intake is and I'm going to spray some Lysol in there just like that. Now this might take a couple of treatments because you got to let it circulate. So I'm just going to spray it in like that and let it flow with the vehicle. It's also important to give proper ventilation because you don't want to be breathing in this Lysol. I'm using a Lysol disinfectant spray. Okay, so I'm on the passenger side of the vehicle. There's the glove box. There's the console right there. And right under the glove box is where the air filter goes. Here's uh, the latch and here's the door. What you do if I can get enough light there, you pull this latch forward this way and then the door comes out. But I can't do it with one hand, so I'm going to do it in two spots. I slid the latch open right here and I pull that out and then the door pops right out there, little compartment, just like that. All right, so now we have this STP air filter that I'm going to be putting in. The airflow are the arrows right here. And in my case, they're supposed to be pointing towards the center console. Now, it's a tight fit, so you kind of have to work it in. But um, as you can see, you just kind of, kind of press it up in there. And once you got it in there, take the door, I'll call it a door, you put that back on like that, you got that, and then we have this latch, and the latch holds the door back on place. And you gotta put the latch back on. And there you have it. Now you're done. So we'll see if that does anything. I'll uh, periodically put an update in the description box down below there. And I'll let you know if the funk is still here or if the funk is gone. Could take a while. See you next time.